My name is Taylor Mann, I'm 23 years old, and I'm here in the House of Commons to debate some interesting topics while also having quite a bit of fun. My name is Armin Dumanian, I'm 21 years old, and I'm here in the House of Commons to debate the issue of democratic reform. I'm John Patrick Stanley, I'm 21 years old, and I'm here to learn how government works firsthand. My name is Claire Cathro, I'm 21 years old. I'm here because I have a dream of one day being the first elected female Prime Minister of Canada. My name's Clayton Train, I'm 21 years old, and I'm here to meet new people and talk about the issues that I really care about. Behind me, over 300 students from Queen's University's model parliament have taken over Parliament Hill for the 67th time. For three days, these students have been given the incredibly unique opportunity to experience Canada's parliamentary process firsthand. QMP was founded in 1947, and each year, over 500 students from various departments apply for the program. During this three-day session, students assume the role of MPs and get to experience firsthand several parliamentary traditions, including the Speaker's Parade, attending question period, and debating bills. Prior to the conference, Students hold elections to determine party leaders. Our party leader requested that we did whip the last vote. Um, I was just wondering, um, Mr. Speaker, what your thoughts are on whipping votes within the House of Commons. The delegates prepare for the conference year-round and write all the bills in advance. So it's day one at uh, Queen's Model Parliament, and today we're going to be actually hearing the speech from the throne, which will be read by a very distinguished speaker. We're going to have some really rigorous debate on that. And then we're going to go in and present um, our Green Party environmental bill, which I think will really speak to sort of the environmental challenges that we see Canada's facing. And then we're also going to debate two other motions that will sort of look at the future of Canada and sort of issues that we, especially as a model parliament, think are really pressing in the future generations. Today is the first day of QMP, and I'm really excited because we get to hear from the Green Party as they give their throne speech. I'm super pumped to rip into that speech and instead offer the conservative vision for Canada, small government and an efficient country that works for everyone. So today is a very important day for the NDP. Although our bills themselves aren't being uh, debated and passed today, it's important for any party, especially one with the smaller numbers of, uh, like ours, to create voting alliances and voting blocks with other parties. What we have done, me specifically, is I've talked to other leaders, we've debated, and we've also created arrangements of how our parties will vote for one another. Well, today the government is delivering the speech from the throne and obviously the Liberal Party has a lot to say about it so that's going to be the first thing that we do. We also have a bill up for debate today and we just are trying to get find the votes to get that through. So it's day one for the Bloc Québécois at QMP 2014. Um, today we're going to be presenting our bill which is on um, youth and families. Um, we're really excited. It's been kind of a tumultuous week for the Bloc so um, we're really just excited to be here and get started, and it's going to be a good time. I declare this motion defeated. Every year, the students recruit a number of guests to act as Speaker of the House from all aspects of the political landscape. I think that it's uh, very good to encourage the interest of uh, young people in Canada, interest in our uh, institutions like Parliament. So I'm re really very uh, glad and impressed that uh, all the uh, organizers at uh, Queen's University and all the students who participated uh, in model parliament, that they're here and they're interested in government. And, and uh, uh, I hope that uh, Canada's democracy will be stronger for it in the years to come. So it's, a, it's a big thing. I think it's, we, it's a very important task for the country to get young people more interested uh, in their federal government. In the past, notable guest speakers have included former Prime Minister John Turner, journalist Andrew Coyne, and former Speaker of the House Peter Milligan. I think it's a very complete experience because we had debate, but we had the mics on, we had the translation, so I think it's important that youth get more and more involved in politics, so as much as we can help them to understand the process and enjoy it, I think it's great and, and we had a lot of fun in the House of Commons so I think uh, hopefully they appreciate it but uh, I did and I think it is inspiring to so many youth in the House of Commons. I encourage all of you don't just participate in model parliament because don't get me wrong this is fun but become an activist and take the time to figure out which party represents your values. Shh. 
The guest speakers are kept secret until the conference. These young leaders have um, a great opportunity because this is an inspiring place. You know, I'm sure each one of them felt like I did when I walked into the House of Commons for the first time. I did it as a member of Parliament, but it's a big room. And it makes you appreciate that we have a strong and vibrant democracy, one that we should all be exceptionally proud of. And all the more reason why we should be participating in politics, in democracy. It's not just future politicians that attend the conference. Every year, several students are selected to be journalists as members of the press gallery. During the three-day session, they hold an emergency press conference and even publish a newspaper. Apart from hours spent debating bills and attending caucus meetings, students also get the chance to attend several social events. On the last day of the conference, a closing ceremony is held in the Senate chamber, honoring those students who demonstrated exceptional participation in the House of Commons. About 50% of the participants study politics. Others study everything from life sciences and chemistry to nursing and economics. Today is the final day of QMP and the conference was fantastic. The Green Party minority government survived the conference and we passed our hallmark environmental legislation uh, which put a price on carbon and we worked with a bunch of other parties to pass some great bills. Well, it's the last day of QMP and it's a, a really bittersweet moment for me because although my party's done really well, we've had one bill pass unanimously and another one going before the House later today. This is also my last QMP. I've been lucky enough to be a delegate at QMP for each of the four years that I've been at Queen's and I'm really going to miss it. So it was the third and last day here at QMP. Uh, the Bloc Québécois ended up winning both of our bills, but um, I ended up losing my voice. But it's been a really great experience and I'm looking forward to being back here next year, um, perhaps as not one of the smaller parties, but um, as the leader of one of the, either the opposition or the government. So it's exciting. This was the last day of QMP and it's my last time at the conference. I've had a fantastic last few days. My party's been pretty successful, and I'm just going to miss all the people that I've spent this time with. Wow, what a final day at QMP. You know, I've been doing this for four years, and I probably couldn't ask for a better send-off. Uh, party and I worked very hard. We passed our democratic reform bill. Unfortunately, our security bill didn't get passed, but you know what? What made it so great was that everyone had a fun time with it. They worked hard, and in the end, that's what matters. You know, they, everyone realized that they're in a place where only so few have a privilege to go to. And I think we all learned a lot from this conference. So I couldn't ask for a better way to end it.